I'm Deanna Lampasona. Here's a look at our top story we're following for you tonight. Hillsborough County Public Schools will require students to wear face masks. This goes into effect on the first day of classes, which is coming this Tuesday and runs through at least September 3rd. Students will only be exempt if a parent or guardian chooses for them to opt out. Superintendent Addison Davis says there will be a form you have to fill out. The forms are going to be electronic, so we'll send that out on our website. All they got to do is put their students' information in, student number, school, and be able to acknowledge that their child wants to be able to opt out of the mask. So far, Hillsborough County is the only Bay Area school to require masks. All other districts are keeping masks optional. We have more back-to-school information available on our website and on our Spectrum News app. New details tonight. As we approach 20 years since the deadly attacks on September 11th, 1,600 Americans impacted by that tragic day are asking the president to release government records. The group sent a letter to President Joe Biden reminding him of a campaign promise to release information about the attack. Some have accused the government of keeping people in the dark about Saudi Arabia's role in supporting Osama bin Laden. If the president doesn't release the information, the group is asking him not to attend the memorial events on September 11th. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki says President Biden is committed to his promise, but the DOJ needs to take the final steps of releasing the information. In your destination space news tonight, NASA and Boeing are still working out a new launch date for the Starliner spacecraft. The latest delay earlier this week was due to an issue with the service module valve performance. That issue is still being worked out, so for now, there's no new launch date. The company has been trying to launch the spacecraft since December of 2019. The unmanned mission will pave the way to eventually carry astronauts to the International Space Station. If you're doing any baking this weekend, the CDC has a warning for you. An E. coli outbreak has been linked to cake mix. The CDC says 16 people have been infected across 12 states since last Tuesday. Seven of them have been hospitalized. The FDA is still trying to pinpoint the brands and which production facilities are impacted. It's likely many more people have been impacted because it takes three to four weeks to determine if someone is part of an outbreak. And many who get sick don't seek any medical help. The CDC is recommending people do not eat raw cake batter or cake mix because flour and other ingredients can contain the harmful bacteria. Happening now along our northern border, crossings between the U.S. and Canada have slowed to a crawl as Canada's border service officers kick off a work-to-rule action. This comes as they negotiate new contracts, which they haven't had in over three years. A work-to-rule action is somewhat similar to a strike. The workers are doing their jobs exactly as the law orders, which can include asking every trucker or traveler every single question in the manual, or doing a full inspection on every single vehicle. This comes as Canada prepares to allow fully vaccinated Americans and permanent residents to enter Canada for non-essential work travel. It will be the first time they've been allowed in since the start of the pandemic.